make this quick video showing you how easy it is to use your PC to revert your Windows phone from a technical preview back to the official stock OS. In this case, I'm running Windows 10 technical preview in my Nokia 1520. Tested out uh, this build for the last week. And I made it over a week with it just because it's that good. But it just has a couple little flaws in it. Like Cortana is not working consistently. I do rely on that a lot now from a reminder. So, And there's a couple little apps that aren't available. Like the Nokia Moments can't. Uh, app for the camera that's not available kind of like having that a lot so I have the spare icon that I keep Windows 10 in so I'm going to go ahead and revert this back to Windows 8.1 again at least until the next build comes out fire up the app recovery there we go plug it in Usually it doesn't detect it that fast, but on my computer it is for some reason. It's going to get the basic info from the phone. It's got the phone listed, and it has the, uh, and you can see it's 10166 is in it right there, showing you that. Here is the actual software available from server, and uh, this is Windows 8.1, uh, whatever version that is. You have the latest available software version. So I think I already have this downloaded on my computer, so we're going to hit reinstall. Yeah, yeah, backup, I don't really need to backup anything. It will take about 15 minutes, so it's 11.54, 11.55 right now, let's go ahead and hit it. It's got a download there. Nice thing about having this extra phone is I can kind of play with it. Installing software. There goes the phone. working pretty fast. As far as I know, this is a unique setup for a Windows phone. I don't think you could do that for uh, Android or iOS. So it says it's finished already. The phone's going to do its thing. That was really fast. So I can close this. This is done now. It's kind of nice having a spare phone to play with. This one doesn't have a activation on any networks, it's just on Wi-Fi here. So it actually, this is an icon, it seems to be working pretty flawlessly on Windows 10, but the only thing is I don't take that one out abroad, relying on, you know, my motion data and uh, Cortana. Even though I've noticed some of the reminders are popping up in this one that I've set in this one. Doing a restart. Come back up. Getting things ready. This phone. Okay. Let's
Connect to my network. Next. Next. Connected. Right, that's all correct. Sign in. Okay, I'm gonna sign in my info here. And restore phone, this is something you could do and it puts everything back exactly how you just had it. And you can see all the times I've been doing it. But I hit don't restore, because that makes it 100% pure refresh. And you just reinstall the apps manually, which is all I need to do. And one thing I like to do is take a screen capture of the apps on my home screen sometimes, so I can put them back the way I just had them, so I won't... Because I've already got my memory of what order everything is in. Backup. Turn backup. Yeah, I'll just hit yes, because I want to turn that feature on. Montana, sure. Yeah. Installing. Okay, so I've got to do this. Of course, since this is a AT&T phone, but I have it activated on T-Mobile, it installs all the apps that are associated with the ROM or the original phone, so it puts AT&T apps in there. However, since this is not stupid Android, <laughs> you can just uninstall any app. There is no bloatware on uh, Windows phones. So, so far, it's been four or five minutes. And the phone's already booted back up with the uh, latest official software, which is Windows 8.1. This is fast. You don't have to hack the phone. Windows is really open, or I should say Microsoft's really open to people, you know, getting to try things out on their phones. You know, they give you the developer preview and they give you the Windows Insider, as they call it now, which is what gives you the Windows 10, or early releases so you can be a beta tester. And you can give feedback which is awesome. Like if I'm in an app and I, something's just goofy, I don't like the way it's working or something, it wants me to sign in. That's one of the glitches is I have to sign in a lot on OneDrive. You push and hold the power down and the power button briefly and let go. There you go. So you do this. You can first search for the same kind of problem and if you find somebody else already mentioned it, you just upload it. You see this? That's where somebody gave a compliment. It's supposed to be for uh, the ability to respond to messages and the notification there. Super useful, convenient for quick tests. One of my favorite features. Huh. Usually this is, I guess, to give them positive feedback. Most of the feedback in here is for an issue or a request. Make music controls, criminal locks, when the music is playing, and everything like that. And you know, they, they've made a lot of changes based on this and fixed a lot of problems. Oop. That's done. So I don't have nothing to report right then, but that's pretty cool how that feature is there. That's unique to Windows Phone as far as I know. Almost done. So SD card found. Yes, I want to store everything new on that, including my new apps. Delete other apps. Yeah, because it's getting goofy. So there you go, it shows the, when the phone, the SD card, you can install everything, including apps, on that. It is back up and running. Now I told you there's going to be some bloatware. Because that just takes it off the start screen, so you just go like this. I wish there was a way to check mark them and do them all at once, but no big deal. Everything and anything, pretty much anything, can be uninstalled on a Windows phone. But what time is it? 12.02. So, it took about six minutes to get the phone changed from Windows 10, the Insider Preview, back to the Windows 8.1 official release. And the phone is up and running, could make phone calls, everything. In fact, I'll have to blur this when I open it up, probably. My, my contacts, oh no, I know it's just got names. My contacts are in here. Uh, undo these freaking AT&T ones, like I said, it adds it to, but it's refreshing all the 
profile pics, but it's got my contacts and everything are already in the phone instantly. So, AT and T radio on. I think it just installed these while we're sitting there because it's installing the apps in the background right now. I do like how on Windows Phone, you just jump on a letter, just hit another letter, and you jump to that. You don't have to like scroll the whole thing. And when you get like 50, 60, 100 apps, you don't want to be scrolling. And your contacts list is the same way. Uh, the People tab, which updates all your stuff from Facebook and everything too. Uh, Weird, I did not see this phone got totally set up. It put Twitter in there automatically and has it all set. It's already in the people tab. Um, if I want to just jump to another person's name, like say S, bam, you go right there and it goes to it. It's really fast. I have an iPhone for work. I hate that contacts list in there. It sucks. <laughs> and uh, Windows 8, before I went to 8.1, when you scrolled over, they didn't have these little alphabet um, you know, letters starting at the beginning of each letter. Everything starts with A, B, C. You know, it, it shows you it more organized, plus you can hit those, zoom out, zoom back into the to the letter and jump right there. Makes it real fast if you have a lot of things in your app list or your contact list. Uh, there's your Lumia stuff. Like I said, Lumia Moments is an app I really like. And I was not able to get that Let's just go to Lumia and see if I can find it that way. Yep, here they all are. See this? Lumia Creative Studio. Oh, it's pending. Camera pending. Definitely want that app. Selfie. Want that one. That one's pretty awesome. The moments. Oh, refocus is awesome. The moments. There we go. That's one of the other ones. Like the refocus, the selfie, and the moments. I believe those apps were not available on the Windows 10 developer preview right now. So, phone is well busy downloading and installing all these apps. So, anyway, that's basically it. Just setting it back up. It's already getting text messages and some of the emails. I got to set up the accounts, so I got to add Google back to my email and setting and things like that. But other than that, look how fast that phone was set up again. Location. Oh, I guess it booted up the camera for some reason. And of course, as a Nokia phone, it has the dedicated camera button. Put two stage, push it a little bit to focus, push it the rest of the way, take the picture. That's one reason I got this phone. The icon is the same way. Volume up, down, power, and then you got your camera button, which this. Looks just the same Windows 10 here. Push it just a little bit to focus. Push it the rest of the way to take a picture. So, there we go. And right here, side by side, is the difference between Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. The People tab, see it? It's got it's loading the same info. See this? But it's got bubbles now, and these just have squares. So people got mixed feelings on that. The squares, though, I noticed that you know it looks. It starts filling in more and more, but it leaves a lot of blank ones like that, especially if your friends don't, you don't have their profile pics in here, where that seems to be rendering a little better with the bubbles, and if there is a blank spot, it doesn't look so bad. A lot of stuff looks just the same. Skype, I want it small on that one. That's about it.